Alright, this video is for the ones that got the Whistler WS1080, 1088, TRX1, and TRX2. How you program them is, you know, you're in your main menu. Here, let me push scan. See the radio scanning now? You just hit menu. And then right now it's sitting on scan. You go down to scan library. Right there. Hit select. See, I got a small issue going on. Because mine's telling me database file not found on SD card. Please reinstall and select continue. Now, I'm going to go and take this over to that computer right there. And I'm gonna pull up the software. And I'm gonna pause the video and I'll let you know when I get the software up and the steps to take to do this process. Okay. Now I just unpause the video. I just went and unplugged this guy, which is my Whistler WS1080, which is running a scanner feed online. And. Yeah, so I had to unplug that and see I come over here to the computer and it's running my radio feed. Okay, so let me drop this page down to my radio feed. Alright. Now let me put this radio up here. Oh, let me pause real quick so I can plug this nice little cord into the radio and then plug it into the computer. I only got two hands so I can't quite hold camera and do it all together. I don't think I have a tripod over here. Okay. So you plug the scanner into the port. Oh. Probably ain't gonna work because I need to go in my feed and I need to select no port. Okay. Just like guess. And then I need to let me get back away from the TV because we're way too close. Okay. Yeah, I really need to get a tripod over here. I'm trying to zoom in because this is a big TV and we were too close. But anyways, you know what your software looks like. It's like looks like this. Hold on, I'm gonna zoom it into it. See, there's the software for the Whistler Easy Scan and Whistler TRX1. Okay. So what we do here is you pull up your software. And see it, and then it brings up the loaded box. Okay. And then after you do that you go and you click right here where it says update and then you just click on all updates just like that and then it says pending okay so it's telling me only update I have is a PC application update and then a library database update. And that when I click OK on this it should fix it should fix the problem with the library not loading up. So instead of pausing it and just doing the update, I'll just let this run and let you watch the process go. 
a little access down on my knees, so I try to keep it still so you guys ain't like, oh my goodness, I feel like I'm drunk. We don't have your tripod here, do we? Do you think we'll... See my lovely wife back there and, and the baby. I'm waiting for this to. Oh, I guess I gotta go down here and click. Usually it automatically pops up. Click on that. Follow the instructions. Hit next. Add, add shortcut to desktop. Yep. Hit next. Hit next. Hit next. It's loading. Run to TRX1. Yep. And then right when it loads back up, right when it loads, man, my nose itch. But once it loads back up, it'll move on to your library update. I'm sorry for any moving or anything. I'm, like I said, sitting on a bed or staying at a different location. So, you know, I got kids back here moving around and stuff. So, I'm eventually going to make these uh, videos turn out a lot better without shaking. I just need to put my phone on a tripod. And it's still loading, downloading progress. See, I really don't want to disturb the 1080 sitting over there in front of the radio with the purple cord plugged into it because it's, like I said, it's running that radio feed. And I don't want to push buttons because if I do, they're going to hear me pushing buttons. And I think somebody's over there talking on North America too. And if anybody wants to hear that radio feed from that Whistler WS-1080, all you have to do is go to Radio Reference and look up Vigo County Hoosier DMR Network. Or you can go just to the web browser and you could type in Hoosier DM, uh, no, type in Vigo County Hoosier DMR Network and there should be like little shortcuts that just takes you right to it. Okay, Libra library update, updated successfully. Okay, so then what I do is I click done. The library file must be copied to your scanner's SD card in order to be used without the computer. Would you like to copy the library file to your scanner's SD card? Yes, you want to do that. Because that's how you get your library on your scanner so you can program it through the scanner itself so hit yes okay and then you'll see your your removable uh, disk pop up and then you hit continue and then it goes through this stage
and long, as long as you follow all these steps, you really, really should not have no problem programming your radio. You can program it by software, which I really don't do. Most of my programming, I do it all by the radio. Not unless you get to certain special settings, and then, you know, obviously you gotta do that through the software. But most of it, I, I just do through the radio. And while all this is taking place like this, if I show you the TRX-1, which is plugged in, it don't show you that like it's loading anything. All it does is show you the the date and time. That's all it does. And then this, you know, it's just running my scanner feed. That's why it's labeled like that. It says scanner feed. But anyways. Are about 60%, 64%, 65% on file, folders 31%. Alright, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do guys is because I don't think people watch these videos all the way through, especially when they start looking long, because we're already at 12 minutes and 47 seconds, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to push pause on this, and I'm, I'm going to pause the video, wait for this to go all the way over, and it's done, as soon as it's done, I'm going to kick the video back on and I'll show you the steps after this loading process. I don't know why it's taking so long. A lot of times it goes kind of quick. But uh, you can see on files we're at 95. But on the folder side we're on we're only 41%. So yeah, I'm going to push pause as soon as it's done. I'll guide you through the next steps.